Welcome back to another episode of Overly Comfy Gamers as my cats try to break down my door because they want in. Let's go ahead and do another nine packs. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We are going to have to start taking more from this side. All right. Let's start off with a Garatina. Hopefully Garatina will do us a favor and get us that gold card, our secret rare, Silgalio. There's your code. Toss that to the side. It's going to be fire. Psychic. It's always psychic whenever I guess. All right. Looker. He's our first card. Yangama. Our Young Mega. Piplup. Slandit. A Yanma. Briffbloom. Buzzle. Brizzle. No, Buzzle. I can't say. It's so like... The U and the I kind of roll off wrong or something on my tongue. Get off the sleeves. Trash. There's a side code card. And fighting. Hunt Crow. A Raferno. Pokemon Pink Cup. We have not gotten the Prism card yet, have we? That's it's kind of sad. We're supposed to get, should get at least like three. A Turtonator and a, ooh, Cynthia Full Art. I don't know if you guys know this, but that's uh, pretty much an $80 card right here. Some scratches on the back. Probably not gradable, but definitely a great card to have. And if you guys don't know what Cynthia does, we'll go ahead and read this. Shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw six cards. This booster box is... It's been great so far, you know. A secret rare Dawn Wings and a uh, Full Art Cynthia. Pretty much that just paid for the box right there. At the moment, Cynthia might be going down in price. It has since, you know, the pre release. So hold on. It could go down. Hopefully, it doesn't go down too far because if it doesn't, you know, that's quite a bit. Cynthia, I have not been checking for these. These are actually worth about $4. So, go ahead and just put that back there. It's going to be a Cynthia episode, I feel like. Lickitung. Another boozle. Or broom. It's a... It's a... I don't know. Don't know what to say about it. Put that down there. I was going to sleeve it, but... I think I'll just leave that to my brother to sleeve later. Too many packs to get through. Too much time to... To spin. Lickitung. Oh, green energy. Sad day. Great thing about this set, though, did I... I don't know if I gave that code. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Better luck next time. The great thing about this set, which we haven't ran into any, is even though if you get a green code, you still have a chance of a prism card, which hopefully we see one soon. Maybe, you know, it's a elusive thing. Magnazone is a really good card, mainly because of its ability. As often as you like during your turn before, you at uh, before your attack, you may... Attach a metal energy from your uh, from your hand to one of your opponent or one of your Pokemon. So it's pretty much just you know if you have a Dialga and you need to use its attack this turn, and all your energies are in your hand. Well, Magnazone has your back. I have not read what Solgaleo does. Last time I th I think it has the same attack as Sun and Moon. It may not, but if it does, it does. It's still a great card to have just in case, you know, you need to really quickly attack something with a really powerful attack. You know, just use that and get it going. Ooh. Bronzor. We still have not yet run to a prison. That's going to make me sad soon. Because, you know, when you're opening a set that says Ultra Prism, you, you hope to find the, the cards it's referring to. There's a side code. Fire. Electric. No. A happy, happy dinosaur just destroying ancient Greek ruins. And <laughs> jerk, those are those are national treasures. You shouldn't destroy them. Uh what else? Magmite. We seem to always get two magmites in one pack. Grocronk. Magmar, still not my my prison card. Three packs left. We only got one. Ultra rare out of this. This don't tell me this booster box is a dud. Hopefully not. Hopefully we get at least you know like our five. 
I'm like Crimson and Crimson Invasion, where you can just get like two and that's it. It is absolutely horrible. I cringe at the name of Crimson Invasion. Rosalia, Honchcrow, and a Leafeon GX. As I speak badly about this, no, I didn't really speak bad. It's hoping we get another ultra rare. Let's read this guy really quick. He's new to this channel. Breath of the Leaves. <laughs> really? Pokemon? Really Breath of the Leaves? It's like one word away from Breath of the Wild. Whatever. Uh, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, once during your turn, you may heal 50 damage from one of your <clears throat> Pokemon that has any energy attached to it. Wow, okay, so that's pretty good. Solar Beam, and then Grand Bloom GX. For no damage for each of your bench poke or bench basic Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it into put it onto that Pokemon to evolve them. Then shuffle your deck. So it's a quick evolution Pokemon. If you have something on your bench that you need to evolve really quick, there you go. Not too sure what all that would go with. I feel like people want that card, but I just. I, I don't think I could ever use it myself. Um, you know, in honor of Leafy, I'm going to leave water. Okay, well. Oh, oh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I saw another shiny thing. We're going to get all of our Ultra Rares right here. Slendit. A Turtwig. Magneton. Still not a Prism. And a uh, Celesteela. Celesteela. Full Art. Wow. Look at that card. That's actually a nice looking card uh this attack does 30 damage uh for each steel energy in your opponent's active pokemon retreat cost or not steel energy um colorless that's the symbol moon press 130 and then you got blaster gx 180 damage turn all your prize cards face up Ooh, ooh. just in case you need to know what's in that prize card pile there you go all right guys so we've gotten a rainbow rare a full art is this secret rare i think these are considered secret rares aren't they no they're not a full art and a another full art full art trainer so pretty much all i can think of that we will get in now is just hopefully a prism Hopefully one of them, at least. But, you know, just regular GXs now. Missing Clover. A Tartanator looking off into the distance. He's so proud of him. Look at that. He has such a smug smile. Or maybe it's just part of the design, but he just looks like he's like, I feel accomplished. Eevee splashing in what looks to be muddy water. I'm assuming it's just clear water. And it's like dirt and all that under it. Ryle. Pearl Grunk. Bronzor. And a Shaman. Alright guys, so that is the second episode of this Ultra Prism Booster Box. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I know I am. This has been such a great set so far. Um, Hopefully we can actually get a Prism card. That would be nice. But if we don't, we don't. I mean, part of the deal. Part of the game. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will be looking forward to seeing you next time.